Hey everybody, welcome to Trina Kulik Designs. My name is Trina and I'm the owner designer here at Trina Kulik Designs where I teach other ladies how to take control of a jigsaw and cut and paint their own door hangers. How's everybody doing? It's chilly, chilly, chilly here tonight again. So tonight we're gonna to be making some cute little gnomes, or I say gnomes, we're gonna make a cute little gnome. Hey Christine, I may make um, a smaller one, just depends on what kind of time we have. Hey Tammy, hey Tanya. So, this is my first time ever making gnomes, y'all. Can y'all believe that? I have seen them, like, for the past year, they have been going crazy in the stores and online, and you see, see them, like, all over Pinterest. Hello from Texas. Thank y'all so much for blessing my page. I appreciate it so, so much. Hey, ladies. Um, so, I was like, you know what? I've got to do a gnome. So, I'm super excited about doing this gnome. If you don't mind, sprinkle the crafting for me because this is gonna be awesome and you wanna be able to watch it later. And it's so much easier to find when it's on your, your personal Facebook page. And it also helps me out. And I so, so appreciate each of So let's go over the supplies. Hey, Sherry from Washington. Hey, Miss Tamara and Carla from Oklahoma. Welcome ladies, welcome. Y'all, I'm still a hot mess. I probably still got sawdust all in my head. Been outside cutting and having some fun. So, supplies. What we have, spout fiber filler. Um, I have like this big old bag from Walmart. But, you ladies, if you do not have any fiber filler, um, I had this from previous projects. You can use like the grocery bags, you can use newspaper, you can use just regular paper and bottle it up to stuff it because we're gonna stuff these little socks. I love your truth behind you. Thank you, Tammy. Um, hey Trina, I'm glad you're making a gnome tonight. Me too, Terry, I'm so excited. But um, yeah, those trees, I still got to finish them, but they turn out so, so good. I absolutely love, love them. All right, so finish with the, the supplies. Fiber fill. A mop head. This was y'all uh, little mop. I think I picked it up from Walmart, but it was it was one of those little head like little tiny head mops. Um, it was too small for me to use in my house, so I was like, I got a mop head that I can use for this because I've seen them made with this, and they're just super super cute. Thank you, Tina. Um, hey, Miss Kathy. So, what I did, I just, just took the little um, plastic, I think it was plastic piece, off the top of them, and they just came right out. So, we got that. The little Dollar Tree socks that I bought the other day. Ta-da. Um, a mason jar. Now, I'm going to use the big one. Yeah, what size is this? Is this a quart? This may be a quart. I know it says like three cups, but I won't say this is a quart. And then you could use a small one too. Can't wait to see the finished project. Me either, Melissa. And I've got some little florals I may add onto it, but I don't know yet. Got some uh, jingle bells I may add. Hey ladies. Um, some jute. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but I've got it. I have my little knob. This is for the nose. Now this is not a regular bead because um, the regular beads that I use to make like my garland with or my bead of tassels, they have a hole in on each end. These do not, and that's why there are knobs. They're actually flat on one end, so it makes it really, really easy to glue down on something. A quart, okay. Thank you, ladies. Um, I do have a rubber band. I have some of this ribbon. This is the two and a half inch ribbon, it's wired. I'm thinking I'm gonna wrap my jar with that. We're gonna see how that goes. And then I also have me some wire because we're gonna stick this inside the hat so we can bend it and make it go crazy if we want to. So let's get started. Uh, I'm excited but nervous because I don't want this to be no complete fail. Uh, glue gun, already got it plugged up and heating up. 
Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Andrea. So, what I'm going to do, you probably wonder what in the world is that woman going to do with the rubber band. So, I'm going to take my rubber band, and I'm going to have it, like, wrapped around in here. Oh, I bought me a bag of rice, too, because I was going to put some rice in here so it would, wouldn't be quite as light. Man, darn. I always forget something, y'all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to... Um, to take my ribbon here and wrap around my jar. Go tires. Y'all, I promise y'all, I do not wear the same sweatshirt all the time. But we have probably about three or four of these sweatshirts. I don't know where they came from. I know my um, my oldest son, I know he gave me like one or two. But I don't know where the other one came from. So me and Zoe, we wear them all the time. Hey from Tennessee, hey Robin, hey Natalie. So I'm gonna take my two and a half inch ribbon and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wrap it around this jar. Um, I thought about painting it and then I kind of decided that I didn't really wanna paint it. Come on, glue gun, don't fail on me now. Oh dear Lord, y'all, it's hot. Ooh, there we go. It's gonna come out like that. Let me get that off. Okay. So we're gonna put some right here on the jar. Wouldn't that be like some, be something if I put that on here and the heat bust in my jar? Good evening, Miss Ruth and Kristen from Tennessee. Love my Clemson Tiger, South Carolina here. Well, welcome Miss Linda from South Carolina. Hey Lisa. All right, so I just got it glued there and I'm just gonna start wrapping it. It's not gonna be like down on my jar on the top, but I'm, we're gonna work with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. I, like I said, I was gonna paint it. And then I was like, well, I don't know. I just didn't, just don't feel like painting painting it tonight. So I'm not gonna paint it. I'm just gonna try to wrap it with my own, with my ribbon and just see how it goes. I don't know, you know how sometimes you just don't feel like painting things? And I, it might be because I paint it all the time and I just didn't wanna paint tonight. So we're gonna wrap it. But painting probably would've been a lot easier or faster, might've been faster too. So we're just wrapping this and I'm adding glue here and there in spots just to hold it down. Cause I know I wanted some kind of bottom, would you call this the, the gnome shirt? I know I wanted some kind of shirt kind of thing for, for him, but um, and I was gonna use another sock, but then I was gonna have to run to town and get another sock with a pattern that I wanted. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the, the ribbon and wrap it and see how it goes. So that's what we're doing. And again, this is just, this is mine, this is for me. So. Hey, Carla, thank you so much for sprinkling the love. Hey, Miss Shirley and Janet, Kelly, Julie. Okay, so we have it wrapped with our red and black buffalo plaid. Uh, yeah, buffalo plaid ribbon. I'm gonna take the top of it. I'm just gonna put like a little dot here and kind of just mash it down some. But again, like I said, the top's not you know, it's kind of curved, so my ribbon's not gonna be exactly straight, straight, like flush down onto my jar, but I'm okay with that. So who's seen the cutting video today? With me cutting out the, the little Christmas trees back there. I think I might've scared some of y'all with my, my table saw. I kind of scared myself with that thing. Okay, so there we go. I've got it kind of kind of flushed. 
So I've just got, got it wrapped. You did, yay. Hey, Shannon. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm going to wrap it around the top of my jar right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, mop pieces, this stuff is like making my nose itch and everything. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stick it up under my rubber band here and it's gonna be aggravating to, to get. Oh Lord. Well, I said I was, I may not do this. There we go. You love the trees, Miss Shirley? I was great when that bad boy scared you. Yeah, I kind of scared myself. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of scared myself. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my little mop strands and I'm sticking it up under my rubber band. This is just gonna make it a little bit easier to handle. So then I won't have to like glue it. Um, this is what I'm doing. See how I've got it? That light's just gotta go. I did on replay, you were good. Your sleeve scared me there for a second because it got close to that blade. Oh, I saw it, but I had to close my eyes. All right, so I'm just sticking, I'm folding these in half and I'm sticking them up under this rubber band, just like that. Who's made gnomes before? Has any of y'all made gnomes? So that's all I'm doing, I'm gonna go around. I'm not even quite sure how far the gnome space is supposed to go. So, so that's all I'm doing. Let me try to turn it this way so y'all can kind of see it. And this really just helps me, helps hold my mop, like these things in place for right now. So that's what the rubber band is doing. It's kind of just working as fingers and just kind of holding it there. I'm gonna kind of push them just as close together as I can get them. Then make it, you know, more thicker. You made a Halloween gnome. Can we go back and watch it? Yes, Carla. You talking about the video where I was cutting the Christmas tree? Yeah, you sure can. It's posted um, on my page and you can still see it. Going to our neighbors next week to make gnomes. Oh, that's that would be fun. All right, so, well this one I hope is gonna be super, super easy and I hope it turns out the way I have in my mind. So, I'm trying to figure out, I should have printed me out a picture of one, like how far my the hair needs to go back. I guess I won't be watching a replay of that video like I have a scroll saw for the little crafts. Um, so I'm thinking that might, might be enough. You will not get close to the saw. I have to make myself help hold a sheet of wood. I haven't made any gnomes, but I want to. Yeah, that was me, Miss Carla. I haven't made any, and I'm like, I want to make one so, so bad. Where did you get the mop yarn from? Tammy, this was an actual mop head, and I just tore the little plastic piece off of it. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. Let me put one more. Mine's gonna be a hairy little gnome. So that's what I've done, is I just took the plastic piece off and um, then the little, um, the little pieces just came off. I'm gonna take my rubber band and and I'm gonna tighten it. So I just kind of went around it one more time to secure it more. Now what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna take some glue and put around here um, just to secure it a little bit more. So now, All right, so now we're gonna trim it. Mom, can you come here real quick? Anderson, can you tell her to 
guys more if you can. She don't, she don't believe me. I asked her, she said, ask her mama. Can you tell her? Can you tell her this one? Can you mama? In a minute, baby. I can't right now because I'm doing live. If, if I don't catch her. Um. Go ahead and close that door, baby. So I'm just trimming this, y'all. Oh, Eli. And Eli's throwing the wire. So I'm trimming it. And now what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pull this apart. I love your videos. First time catch you live. Oh, yay, Miss Kim. You watch some replays? You bought the mop head at, at a store. Just the mop head. Uh... It's got my nose itching, y'all. No, it was actually the mop. And um, what I needed was just the handle, really, and that's why I had the mop head. But I actually didn't buy it for this specific project. Um, I'm, I think I may unravel this. That way my beard and stuff will be even thicker. So I happen to have one. Yes, I'm, I'm going to unravel these. Tammy, can you buy a whole mop at the Dollar Tree for a dollar? Just cut the mop off. It's the cheapest I found. Oh, okay. So, um, Miss Janet said so you can buy one from the Dollar Tree. I'm unraveling, y'all. This may take be a little bit too time consuming. But hey, everybody, and welcome. So glad that y'all are enjoying it. Maybe I can unravel some to leave some kind of, um, leave some a little bit thick, or at least some the way it is. Just unravel some. I think I'm liking it kind of unravel though. It has that kinky kind of look. <laughs> I mean, matches my head. All right. I, this one got a little short on me. So, so far it's pretty easy, pretty basic. We wrap our jar with the ribbon. If you don't want to wrap it with the ribbon, you can paint your jar, um, which will probably be a little bit neater looking if you paint it. Is it cold where you're at, Carla? It is, or I say it's cold, but um, it's been um, it got down to 20, Zoe Layla, it got down to 25 last night here, and today the high was in the, in the upper 40s, so it's cold for South Carolina. All right, what are y'all thinking about them being unraveled? I think it's kind of making it kind of fill in a little bit more. But yeah, it's... It's cold in here. It is cold in here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty chilly to me, which I stay cold all the time anyway. Oh, I like that. So... <laughs> it kind of reminds me of... What's the, um... The thing called... Eli, don't do that, baby. It'll be knocking the trees down. What's the, is it on, um, I like it. Looks good. Hey, Ashley. You love it unraveled? You like it unraveled? Okay. Um, is it the Adams family? Is it called It? Is it It? Sorry, if I knew, if I knew it was going to take this long, then I probably would have already did this before the video. But at least y'all be able to see how it, how I'm doing it. But I'm sure y'all would have known. Y'all can y'all know how to unravel it. Cousin it, cousin it. That's what it kind of reminds me of right now. Is cousin it. All right. So I'm unraveling some more since y'all ladies are saying that y'all like it. So everybody knows Cousin It. Cousin It. Yes, that's his name. Okay. So that's kind of what he's is looking like right now. 
It's causing it. All right, let's do, let's unravel a few more. Hey, Jennifer. Okay. All right. And I may, like I said, I may add, may add some more there because it looks like it needs to be a little bit more thicker. Like right there. I may not be able to. Let me look at it, y'all, so I can kind of see if I need to add more in certain places. And I'm just going to put it right there over, over the other, the first layer. Just like that. I think I need one about right there, too. So I could probably... Probably have enough to make another, like a smaller one. Let's unravel this too. <coughs> Excuse me. You're just wasting a good canning jar. <laughs> we have enough. We got a lot, a ton of jars anyway, from canning tomatoes and That one just... Okay, so now we got the trim that up. I'm going to just set it right over here for a second, y'all, and trim it so. Okay. So, here it is so far. Now we're going to start, we're going to stuff our little sock with the fiber fill so we can... So we can get it on the top. So I'm just going to take my fiber fill and we're going to stick it in here. I'm not really sure how big or thick it was supposed to be. But we'll go with it and then we'll see. Oh, I know, Miss Sandra. I know you was just joking. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put this on here. We're just going to see if I've got enough or got too much. Oh, my goodness. I think that's good. I may even add a little bit more, like, right here. Oh, that fuzz is in my nose, y'all. Use a mayo, mayo jar so you don't have to worry about the glass. That's a great idea, Miss Sheila. Okay, so my next step is gonna be, I'm gonna put two little holes in here. So I'm just taking my screwdriver. And now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna unscrew this. I know you're probably thinking, what in the world? And I have a piece of wire that Eli dropped somewhere. Right here, you can use any kind of wire. You can actually get a clothes hanger and do this with. And he's got me all twisted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the ends of my wire in my jar lid. And then I'm going to bend them down. But you don't have to bend them down. You can twist them or whatever you want to do with them. Just as long as they don't come back out through your um through your holes. So it's gonna be stuck on there like that. We're gonna put the top back on there. Just like that. And now we're gonna take this and we're gonna stick, we're gonna feed it down. You know what I wanna do? So my, so it will be wiggling, it won't fall down. I'm gonna put glue over my holes right here. Just like that. So then it won't fall down in there. I'm new from Wisconsin. Well, welcome Vicki. 
for Maine going to be five degrees tonight. Oh my goodness, just started watching you. Loving, loving your creativity. Well, thank you so much, Betty. I'm so glad that you're here. Let's just let this, let's let it dry, y'all. Okay. I think I might've put too much on it because it's taking forever for it to dry. I'm gonna spread it out some. Maybe that'll help help it dry a little bit more. Let me put a little bit more on this side. Don't fail me now, glue gun. Okay. So you can I gotta hold it, wait a minute. You can come back and you can like put um some You can put some hot glue. <laughs> hey, Dana and Katrina and Nicole. You can put some hot glue behind here, which is what I'm going to do as soon as this wire dries. If y'all heard anything in the background, I'm so sorry. So sorry. It's typical, a typical man for you, I guess. Or a typical Joey for you. I need some tea. Well, you're going to have to wait. I'm making it now. Well, good. It's too late. Okay. I bet you don't ever make it now. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue behind here just so I can, I feel like my, my mop, my hair is a little bit more on there secured. So go ahead and just put your, uh, like a line of glue. Kind of just hold that down. Put you some glue back there and then just push it up in there. And just hold it there until it dries a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. I think the rubber band would be tight enough to kind of hold it there. But just in case, we're going to add glue. I need a little bit on that side. So we're going to make sure this baby don't go, don't tear apart. Hey, Trisha. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Marie, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. Okay. So this is what we have so far. I got a string of glue on my mouth. So this is what we have so far. So now what we're gonna take our stuff sock and we're just gonna stick it on top of our wire. We're gonna just work it down in that that um fiber feel and we're gonna push our sock down okay so now oh my goodness y'all look at that so now what we're gonna do see now with that on there we can bend that if we want to i'm gonna take my glue and i'm gonna glue my sock down now you may want to grab something for this because this glue is probably gonna come through your sock a little bit I'm going to put a line of glue right there and then put my sock on top of it. But yeah, you'd probably definitely want to grab something or if you have the little finger thingies. Thank you, Andrew, you're awesome. Man, wish you were in the same time zone. Oh, Margie, looking like a gnome, yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I just glued the back of it down right there. So now what we're gonna do, this is what's gonna like, bam, make it look like a, a gnome for real. Thank you, Tanya. We're gonna take the nose, which is just the wooden knob. I'm not gonna paint it, I'm just gonna leave it unfinished. We're gonna glue it. I'm gonna move the little hat just a little bit and then I'm probably gonna glue that hat on my, my nose just a little bit. And what I should have done was I should have folded up my um my sock, flipped it up, make it look like a cuff. So I'm going to glue. I'm thinking I'ma glue my um I'm gonna put some glue underneath here and I'm gonna glue my mop head, my like mop what you call it, mop head, whatever it is, down. So then when I glue my nose onto that, because it's not gonna be glued on the jar, then it will be, um, I won't 
won't have to worry about like it moving. Okay. So I'm a glue. My mop, I'm at my nose right there. We're gonna just use the glue, hot glue. We're gonna put it right there. Gonna hold it there for a second. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you so much, Trish. Miss Peggy. Thank you, Natalie. So we're just gonna hold it, let it dry. Cause I don't want it to fall off. It's looking like a gnome. I get excited, y'all, when things is going right. <laughs> Especially when I haven't ever made one before. Oh my goodness. You know what? I almost wish, I almost wish I would have used a bigger nose because I have like a huge nose. Let me show you, let me show you. Tell me what you think. Now I get these little knobs from Hobby Lobby. I have this big one, y'all. So, y'all tell me. That nose, is that one big enough? Or do we want to go big? Excuse me. I was just telling my husband how bad you were with your saw and I told him to look at your, your trees you cut out today. Oh, Tammy, thank you. So which one y'all think? The big one or the little, the smaller one? I mean, that would be a big nose. So this one, the one on it, big, go big, big. Okay, so everybody's saying, oh, small one, go big. Okay, so there's way more go big than the small one. Okay, so here's the small one. You like the smaller one, the one that's on there, big. Big, smaller. What if I did the big one on this one and then I did use the smaller one, the smaller one on the smaller jar? That's what I need to do. So then the noses will be different. So, yeah, I'm pulling it off. I'm pulling it off. Small one, small one. <laughs> All right, I'm going, I'm going big, y'all. So, I took that one off. We're gonna go big. Then, when I make the smaller one, we would definitely be able to tell that this is a big one. Small, small, small one. The big one takes away from the known. Small, I got the big one on there, y'all. Be gentle. <laughs> Okay, well, I did the big one. And then, like I said, when I do the small one, I'll put the small, the other nose on it. Go big, you can't go wrong. <laughs> so. And I don't even have that center, y'all. Lord knows. I've got more, way more hair on this side. You hush. I don't, I don't have it centered. I can put... I can add some up under there to make it centered. So there's the big one. That's the big one. So now we're gonna take his, we're gonna take this, um, I don't know y'all. I don't like the big one. I'm gonna be messed it up because I don't like the big one. Okay, so let me try to get, I took the big one off. I didn't like it. It was, it was too big. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, since where I just messed it up at, I'm gonna add some more right up under here. Cause I really, I, that big one was, oh, it was, it was kind of too big. So, uh, Joey Kewick, stop. 
Well, we know <laughs> hot glue definitely works, that's for sure. Let's trim it off one more last time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought the big one was cute, but then it, it, it was almost, it was too big. It was cute, but either way, it's really good. Now, now recenter. There we go. Ah, I'm trying to move too fast is what I'm trying to do. I need to slow my roll. Let me slow my roll. Okay. Now let's get it centered. So we got hair going on right here. All right, so it needs to be centered about right there. So that's where it's centered at. So now I'm going to, again, kind of glue this down just so it don't move around. Once I put my nose on there, I want it to kind of stay there. Because see, if I was to glue my nose straight on there, you know, then my nose will move with the hair. And I don't want it to do that. Thank you, Ginger, for sprinkling the love. I appreciate it. What is Joey doing, Miss Shirley? He's pooping. I'm surprised y'all can't hear it. <laughs> He's being a man, a nasty man. I'm glad you had to ask that. I mean, you could, you hadn't heard it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna spread out those that I have there that I had just put on there because they're like side by side. So we got to have some. <laughs> My face red. I think I kind of embarrassed myself by saying that. You heard it. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. That's why I said it's hard for me to come live during the afternoons. I had to do this in the morning times or about four o'clock. Okay, so we got them centered. We're going back with our other nose. Trying to get some of that hot glue. <laughs> I thought you did. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'm glad somebody asked and so y'all wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't have thought it was me. <laughs> Dear Lord. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay, let's get it centered right here. Nope. So we're going to put it right there. Let's glue this one down. You're so funny. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you. It's crazy. Letting it dry, dry, dry. This is about like watching paint dry. I look a hot mess tonight. Lord knows my hair's going crazy. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna glue. I'm gonna kind of glue the top of his hat kind of down on his nose a little bit. I don't really want it like to cover. I don't know, we're gonna put like about not quite halfway across the tip of his nose, about right there. And we're gonna hold that there while it while it dries. I'm going to have to try making one of these. You can't stop laughing, Miss Shirley. <laughs> oh dear Lord, most men are that way worse as they get older. Do not tell me that, because Lord knows if he gets any worse, I will have to move out. My husband, son of Neil, well, it's a real life. I will have to go. Okay, so it's kind of buff, puffed up, so I'm gonna come over here and kind of push it down on this side, just so it kind of look like it's there. Thank you, Miss Mergy. I made sure I didn't miss. Love it. It's a man thing. It's, hmm. It's 
terrible. I'm telling you, it's terrible. Good thing y'all can't smell it. I'll be lost to all of my viewers. Okay, we're just gluing that side down. Now I'm gonna glue this side down a little bit just to make it, I don't know why I'm doing this. I think it makes it look a little bit better. Gonna hold it down there just for a minute. Oh, you're welcome, Mary. Thank you for being here. I still need to try the picture ornaments from the other day. Debbie, yes, those were, I love those things. I wanna make some more. Except I actually wanna make them to go on my wall. I had three sons and one hubby, so bless my heart. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. We have three sons, and then my husband, and then Zoe. Now, y'all, Zoe's about as bad as they are. I'm trying to talk. So I don't talk too loud, because I don't want them to hear me talk about them. <laughs> I made a gnome like Erin and Lizzie, but smaller. We'll post a picture later. Yeah, it's post a picture. I would love to see it. Got rid of mine three years ago. Best thing I I'm about to glue my gun down. Okay. So y'all see what I did? I kind of like made my little thing go over my nose just a little bit. Can y'all see that? All right, so we need to pull this down just a little bit. Okay, y'all, he's about done. So now for the, to make his hat look kind of cute, I haven't had him in in 16 years. Oh, Miss Murder, you are a lucky woman. He is trying to get some attention from you. Miss Marie, that is not the way, honey. Very cute. Thank you, Miss Robin. Bless her, your heart. Okay. Now we're going to remember the wire that we stuck in here? And I'll put it through the top. So now we can just take it and, y'all, we can bend this hat to go any kind of way we want it to go. So we can take it this way. We can even bend the tip of it back up. Well, it didn't really go back up. But let's just, let's bend it. Just kind of working with it. I'm gonna bend it just maybe like that. Maybe. How about like that? So cute, so cute. Thank y'all so much. How about, it's cuter when it's like just sitting down. No, he's awesome. Be <laughs> surprised. What? Surprise. You coming to see what? Oh my Lord. So Very cute. <laughs> like that. Okay, so. <laughs> 751. Let's add, I think I'm just gonna add a little jingle bell to the bottom. Like right there. Add one on his beard. No, I don't want to add one on his beard. <laughs> you made a Christmas tree ornament into a gnome. Oh, Miss Margie, I bet you that's cute. So I'm just gonna add. I thought I had. I got my jew because I thought about just kind of wrapping it. Can I wear the sock now? Mm. Awesome. Tell you what you could do. Yeah, I thought about adding, but I don't. I don't think I'm gonna add none of this. I think I'm just gonna. Cause you see, I was just thinking about the jute being wrapped around it. But um, love it now. You want to make one? I have really enjoyed this class night. I needed this. Oh, Miss Shirley, I'm so glad that you have. If you want, my you could like put like a little bow right there, or at the end, and put like little red berries. And that's really hot. You don't do that. All right, let's um. Let's, oh, jingle, or jingle bell. Um, let's glue this onto the bottom of his hat. How are this on that hair? So I'm just gonna stick it right there. I'm gonna hold it there mm -hmm. and let it dry. No jupe. Okay. I don't think jupe. I love those trees in the background. Where did you get them from? Lisa, I cut those out today. You can catch the live. I cut one of them out live today. Um, so it's down below. Oh, they heard Daddy laugh and they got to go see what's so funny. The bell, he needs a name. He does need a name. What can we name him? Call him Jangle Jangle. 
Thank you, Debbie. Okay. Let's see if it's on there good. It's on there good. So there it is, y'all. I actually like did the ribbon and stuff around his body, but it's actually not necessary. If anything, I think maybe just painting painting them solid. And um we're being good to go. Just if he was painted solid. I have all the stuff to make one just like yours. Even the color of the socks. Oh yay, Andrea. I wonder where Joey is his name. <laughs> That's too funny, Miss Shirley. Take some of the jute and make it pom pom. Ooh, that was a good idea. Jim, are you forgetting that George. Wrap around your finger and cut it. No jangles. <laughs> That's cute. I'm going to have to watch the replay. I had to run in there. I'm kind of. <laughs> Mr. Jingle. I love it. We will call him Joey. Joey will be what we call him. <laughs> yeah. Since he was more entertaining than the gnome, we will call the gnome Joey. All right, y'all. Mr. Noel. Ooh, that's cute, too. Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles. Mr. Joey Jingles. <laughs> Bo Jangles. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this is it. If you want to, um, like I said, you can make a smaller one. If you want to make a smaller one. Um, I do have the green buffalo plaid ribbon. How are the socks now? Good. 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 I'm just going to see, y'all. Just looking. Just going to see. <gasps> see, that's what I was talking about. Like, put like a little greenery on it. How about green? a little bow at the jangle? At the Jingle Bell. I like that. Hey, Deborah. Well, welcome. This is your first time. So maybe there. I'm thinking he's good as a, just like he is. I'm not going to add nothing else. Tell Zoe I said, hey, this is Kelsey. Kelsey says, hey, Zoe. So, so that's it. I'm not adding no more. I think he's cute. No, leave it. I agree, Miss Deb. Well, I'm so glad that y'all have enjoyed this. Um, they fit me. They, she's got the other one on her foot, y'all. All right. So, that's it. I think he's cute. I think he's cute. And it's made... Lord knows, I must be spitting slaw over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of a mason jar. If you're just joining, you can definitely catch the replay and watch it from the beginning. Turn the volume down. Just turn it all the way down. A knot. Cute. Add bow to the small gnome. Could totally do that. It was fun, Miss Marie. Well, I'm so glad that y'all had fun. I did too. I did too. I think I got like a little embarrassed, but one day. That is the story of my life. Alright, so ladies, I'm gonna let y'all get off of here. Um, I hope y'all try this. And like I said, instead of doing the ribbon, just paint it. You could probably just take it outside and get you a can of the Walmart spray paint for like 99 cent and spray it a solid color because like, you really don't even see it anyway. So. Pull that side. Pull that side. No, don't mess. I'm, I'm going to make another gnome later. <laughs> All right, so ladies, uh, is there a gnome template for a door hanger? Uh, I think I do have a gnome on my, on, on, da, 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 on on my website. <laughs> You're welcome, Teresa. Thank you, Robin. So yeah, y'all try this, post a picture, let me see it. I would love to see how y'all create it. Like I said, the little sock came from a Dollar Tree. Uh, the beard is the mop, mop head. I got a little wooden nose from um, Hobby Lobby, but you can, you know, if you know how to sew, you could actually just sew a little Put a smacking girlfriend. You can like just sew a little thing and then put the the fiber fill in there. I have seen people do that. Um, or y'all can make like one of these, these and put it on there. I am going to paint my trees, um, Miss Shirley. Yes, ma'am. And I'm so excited. But what we did, I was I was gonna screw it, but we tried to screw this one. I was gonna use my nail, but then I was like, I probably wouldn't 
get it straight into this. So I tried to screw it, screw it, but then my screws was too short and then they were too big. So I kind of busted my little tree a little bit because it's only the half inch wood. So what we did is we went outside and it's, it's not the best. I'm sure there's a tool for this, but we made some little indention, like little holes in here to stick the trees down inside on the base Put more and, I, and I glued it. So then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some putty and just fill in around the bottom and then I'm gonna uh, let that dry and paint it. But I'm going to be coming live. Oh, I did round these off, y'all. Can y'all tell? I can tell at the top and the sides. See, like this, see how, I mean, it's, it's definitely got to be putty. And I actually think that was a little bit crooked. But um, I rounded my the, t the edges off and made them like so smooth and just rounded off. So anyway. All right, ladies, enjoy the rest of your night. That, that would have been cute, y'all. Look at that. Would have been cute to have a little pom-pom. All right. Enjoy the rest of your night. I will see y'all ladies later on. Um, I know you're going to do a template. Miss, oh, Miss Cindy, a template for the Christmas trees? Yes, ma'am. I will be getting, I'm going to send those to Christine. And I'm going to get her to post them in the Inside Scoop group. But I am going to try to get a template to add onto my website for those um for the public. You like what she did, Marsha? It was cute. All right, so I'll see y'all ladies later. Enjoy this so much. Um, like I said, if you watch the replay, turn the volume down. Just turn it down. <laughs> watch by the eye. Shh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Bye.